ships, planes, trucks and trains. Every year they are used to take more than 20 million consignments of radioactive material to destinations all over the world. Places where it is urgently needed. For generating power, for diagnostic and therapeutic uses in medicine, in industry, research, manufacturing, agriculture, minerals exploration and in and around our homes. Radioactive material makes our lives easier, better, safer and healthier. The movement of radioactive material has an excellent safety record. That's because of the care taken by those sending the packages, the carriers delivering them, the package recipients and the stringent regulation provided both at the global level by the International Atomic Energy Agency and nationally by member states. This is one of a series of short videos produced by the IAEA about the essential aspects of the safe transport of radioactive material. This one explains what radioactive material is actually used for. To many people, radioactive material is principally uh, what's used in nuclear power stations. But in fact, the reality of, of life is that radioactive material is used in many, many different applications in your everyday life. The generation of electricity is certainly the most familiar of the uses of radioactive material. Today, there are around 440 reactors operating in 31 different countries, producing around 10% of the world's generating capacity. But the use of radioactive material is much, much more widespread than this. It's used in agriculture for purposes including controlling pests, breeding disease-resistant livestock, and raising hardier crops. It's used in industry for purposes including testing steel quality in cars, checking flaws in jet engines, and to check for irregularities in welds. It's used in scientific research for purposes including dating ancient artifacts, developing and testing drugs, and finding cures for diseases like AIDS and cancer. It is used in the manufacturing process of consumer products and services, including smoke detectors, mobile phones, non-stick frying pans, computers, and security scanning at airports and major public events. In desert regions where fresh water is in short supply, it's used in desalination plants. And perhaps above all, it is used in medicine to diagnose and treat disease. Annually, worldwide, more than 37 million nuclear medicine procedures are carried out and 7.5 million radiotherapy treatments are given. There are over 55,000 operations, procedures used every day in over 50 countries around the world. Now, radioactive material isn't produced in 50 countries around the world, so that material has to be delivered. It has to be transported. So, radioactive material, more than 20 million packages of it, are transported around the world every year to ensure our lives really are made easier, better, safer and healthier. To find out more about the safe transport of radioactive material, visit our website at goto.iaea.org forward slash transport safety. It's also worth looking at the nine companion films in this series. Together, they're a great introduction to the hows, whys and wherefores of the transport of these vital goods. Music